For this video, we're going to assemble the pegboard, and we're going to start by placing our components. And the first component I want to place is my board. Now, something special about the board, you want to right-click and place it grounded at the origin. This is going to place your board at the center of your origin. And you can see that you know, the center point is there, and this board I'm not able to move around. Now, when I go to place my other shapes, my round peg, just one left click to place it, and the square peg, again, just one click to place it. These are able to move around. We need to use the constrain tool to constrain them into place. And what we want to do is find the center line of the circle and the center line of the hole and get those placed together. If we accidentally click on the green dot and hit apply, what you'll notice is the center of the peg is able to go through the green dot and everything else, which is not what we want. So you can hit the undo tool or under the round peg, we can see this constraint and we can right click and delete it. So I wanna redo that one. C is my shortcut for constraint. And I put that together and I'm just gonna hit enter for apply. Now my next one, the easiest way to do it is kind of think about this square peg as a door hinge. And we have three dimensions. And the round peg, when we did the center line, when we look at it from the front, it's not able to move left and right. And when we look at it from the side, it's not able to move forward and backwards. So it can't move in the Z or the X direction. It can only move in the Y. And it can also spin, but we don't care about the round peg spinning because it's not moving left and right. The square peg is able to move um, you know, and spin. We kind of stopped it from you know, moving a lot, but it's able to spin, uh, which we don't want. And it can still move in the Y direction, which is up and down in this case, which we, is desirable for us. So this right side here, when I bring this around and close it, that looks good. So what I want to do is I want to take this face and put it there. Or I can think about this edge needs to be in this corner over here. So I've got a couple options. I could click on this face and this face. Notice how the arrows are pointing at each other. And the arrow for the mate solution we're using here is arrows pointing to each other. And that works. I'm going to hit cancel just to show you one other option. You could click on this edge here. And this other vertical edge, you need to be able to see it right there. And that's going to constrain that other vertical edge into place. Either of those two are going to work. For the edge to work, both of your holes have to be exactly to the like millionth of an inch the same. So make sure you make it 1.0 inches for your hole and for your peg. Uh, but that shouldn't be an issue because you dimensioned everything properly. So there is the constraint tool for making the pegs slide in and out. For the square peg, or the, uh, the other leg, I don't have a leg, but I'll just kind of show you with the square peg, um, just to kind of get it constrained in place. Um, we'll constrain, for the, the leg, there's kind of a, a hole on the inside. And so you want to click on that inside of that hole that you've made and that part there. And that'll get that constrained uh, so it's up against it. And then inside the hole, there will be kind of a top and a bottom. Um, and for this right now, next what I want to do is kind of get this front part and this part constrained. Notice how I had to switch so it's flush on the front. And I can hit apply. And then you notice how it's able to move up and down. Then you'll be able to rotate and see kind of there's a top inside cutout, the top face. You'd click on the top face and the top part here, and then that would allow you to get it to stop moving up and down. And the, so that's how you would constrain the end. Uh, once you've made it on one side, you would place it in and then do it again. But I didn't have an end made. So here's that. Hopefully that helped. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask.